All right, guys, we have another four speakers here. This is mid-range price speakers, right? Uh, this is it's gonna be $90 per pair. This guy is gonna be $80 single, so $160. This guy is gonna be also, it's around, around like $80 for, for pair. And this is $90 a single. So this guy is a similar price, and this guy is a similar price, right? Uh, I have on my second camera right here, so you're gonna see the, the better picture next to me so how's the jumps i have a full range one speaker so i'm gonna show you how it's uh it's full range speaker it's gonna play the same music when you guys playing these guys i have also four ohm and eight ohm versions later on i'm gonna run four ohm, ver four ohm it's the same speaker four ohm versus the eight ohm so i'm gonna show you later on how it's gonna work and before you guys trashing my channel i'm gonna tell you how it's gonna work so i have a more than 20 mid-range speakers so I'm running all kind of crazy experiment with each other so I'm gonna get the best of the like a $50 range uh, this is $100 range $100, $150 range and I'm gonna go to you know the bigger guys with the bigger magnets and more expensive and also I have an idea magnet speakers watch my other videos I'm gonna put somewhere in the end the end of the screen other videos so you can find out what's going on I have all the way back on my microphone so I can play the music a lot louder um, I'm gonna play the bullshit music to, from uh, non copyright sounds because copyright issue I cannot play the, your favorite music so let's start it before I start everything guys subscribe to my channel if you didn't subscribe it's gonna help me a lot to bring you guys the nice reviews so you can choose the exactly speaker what you have what you want and get best speaker for your bucks right for your money so now uh, I'm gonna run this speaker so to show you how the regular speaker is gonna be response how's the play sound outputs and I'm gonna run these other speakers That's how regular full range speaker will respond. You shouldn't give for these speakers like that sound. You have to cross your crossovers a lot higher uh, because th this is a mid range speaker. So it's, it shouldn't get a lot of bass. Reason why I'm doing now is I'm gonna choose which speaker is gonna be best. And when I find the best speaker, best of the best, when I run the, you know, the. Uh, the best speakers each other I'm gonna install to the box and I will run in the box every speed every single the best speakers right so we're gonna do the same sound same place same output Definitely louder and more clear than massive audio. This is a speaker I'm watching a long time, and I always think this is expensive, but has to be loud and clean.
bassy, bro. It's a lot of bass. Ryan, come on, Ryan. Let's play a different song. That's a Ryan. I'm not advertising these companies. I'm I'm not doing anything with this company. But I have a I like the Ryan amplifiers, so I never like uh, I never test the speakers. But for me, it's like previous video when you watch it is more natural, and here's also is like the more natural sound. Oh shit. So, DS18 is loud. Guys, I'm gonna run side by side DS18 versus Massive Audio. I believe that we're gonna kick out the Massive Audio right now. Kick them out. DS18 baby DS18 Who's the owner for, for this company? They I don't know That's a good guys I believe If they're doing the good products So You see, you see the what's happened uh, The clear Higher tone And the bass is almost the same Like it's, it's jumpy If you put the you know the, the four or five speakers and the one door or even the two speakers one door is gonna be a nice you can, you can put the some bass on this speaker but you shouldn't give that much power with the bass you you have to cross the your crossovers your amplifier to high crossover at least like 60 that uh, 60 kilo, kilohertz 60 kilohertz right so now we're gonna do the same sound with the rock with Fosky. You see that on the DS, you see, uh, you hear like a. T -t -t -t. On this one, it's a little le less mid uh, mid range speaker, and it gives a lot, you know, the lower tone. And these guys, like um, on the party, right? You hear that like a punchy, punchy sound, 
this is a produce like that uh, I think this is sounds is very good so now the massive audio is out rock with Fosgate if you guys big fan of the rock with Fosgate you can thumbs down to this video because I know you guys haters <laughs> Or any, any the massive audio. If you invest a lot of my money now for the massive audio, and I'm I'm telling it's like a DS18 is better. I don't care. I'm not advertising anything, right? It's, if it's the speaker is good, you hear the sound. I'm using the you know the high quality the microphones. So if it's good, it's good. Also use your headphones so you're gonna see the sound difference. So same music. Nas, we're gonna fight with Ryan. Let me put something like this. You can guys see it better. Alright? Yeah, the Ryan, good job. But is it a Korean company? Or is it based in Mexico? I don't know, comment below guys. Who is building this, where they building? It doesn't say made in China, but it says made in China. Made in China. But who is, I believe Ryan is the Korean company. The, I like this Korean guys. They very good personalities, right? Except they're eating all the dogs around. <laughs> but yeah, good, good job. Sound quality is Ryan. It's close. May, maybe it's better than Pioneer. Because lower model of the DS18, it was very close to the Pioneer. But the Pioneer sound quality was like a Ryan. Like more natural sound. I don't know why it's a more natural sound. This guy is like a, you know, the loud. This one is also loud, but it's producing also more natural sound like human voice it's a lot better to like listen it's nicer to listen i think that guy we're gonna run with the the pioneer i think that this is gonna destroy the pioneer pro series whatever i'm t talking about right you guys know it last music on this journey we will find
100%. So, here's the winner. Ryan number one, DS18, very close, but very good speaker. Guys, either one, you get it, like, if, if you personally like the DS18, definitely get the DS18, right? You're not gonna make any mistake, you're gonna love how the sound quality on the DS18. Imagine if you install these for the sealed box and run that right cross, um, has a right, Imagine you install these speakers in the box and cross your amplifier like exactly whatever they need it. It's gonna be like amazing sounding speakers. Like all these JBLs, like for example, like full full range speakers, they're not gonna come close to these monsters. And the price is also is right. The price is a lot better. Now the reason why I'm switching all my audios, all my vehicles on these speakers because they sound quality is way nicer than other speakers right the Ryan really good job guys uh, the previous comparison you guys lost it that that speaker but this one is sounded really nice good good I like it maybe I'm gonna change all my speakers on the on my vehicles to, to the Ryan the price is also right $90 per pair it's 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 very good so the massive audio, if you guys using it, comment below um, how you like it, you enjoy it, with what uh, amplifier you giving, what the cross it. Uh, the Rocker Foskate, same thing. Like a lot of guys is buying these uh, speakers, but I think the time to switch to the <laughs> to the DS18. But I, I like this design. Even it's like a very low sitting design. But it's it's like a bass is very deep. But I'm gonna still run these in the box, so we'll see. If it's the, the rock flask, it's gonna lose lose another speakers. I'm gonna take it off. If not, so you guys gonna see it. I'm gonna run later on rock flask also.